Good morning, Internet. So I just got off work. It's actually not morning at all. I've been saying for days that I'm going to cut out these holes in the closet. I may actually do that here soon. It just keeps getting put off. Uh, but the main reason I wanted to do that was so we could get the cable modem and the router off the floor because it's a little bit ghetto how they're being run right now. But in order to do that, i got to put power in that closet, which means hooking up the new panel. And in order to hook up the new panel, I need to put up a couple studs that the panel's going to mount on. Uh, so I think I'll probably do that first here. That way we can at least have power up here and that way I don't just cut the holes and be like, yeah, the modem and router are going to stay on the floor anyway. So, uh, alley painted. Uh, things look pretty good in here, as you saw in the previous video. It's, we have a nice, lovely blue dormer. Um, I talked to Father, and he's available on Sunday to help with the ceiling. So we're going to have that out on Sunday, uh, and then we can get the new ceiling in, and then we'll actually have that room close to done, which is exciting. After a little bit of cleanup here, we have the what I think is going to be the position of the sill plate for the wall. You can see there's a bit of a gap uh, between the stone and the wood just because there's a, a spot over here where the stone comes out more and to maintain a straight wall I have to be a little bit off. So we will lose maybe an inch or so but it doesn't really matter for the, uh, the amount of the room. So that's pretty much the path the wall is going to take. I got to do a little bit more cleaning over in this area here, get the next segment in line just to make sure that there's a no other high points on the stone that would force the wall to come out this way. But things are going well. I uh, removed a significant chunk of our old divider, which is going to be demolished eventually in total. Um, getting out of here completely is going to be a little tricky because we've got these heating pipes right here uh, which pass through it. And with them having the potential asbestos insulation, I don't really want to mess with those yet. So I'll have to be careful, do some selective demolition on that wall. But things are going well. Uh, we have the first sill plate in. And then uh, once that's anchored to the floor with some tap cons, uh, then I can start putting studs up over here in this area. And then we have a place to mount a panel. It just looks like a regular drill. Good morning, Internet. Hello. I'm tired. I've worked all day, but look at this angry thing that Steve is carrying around. It's not that angry looking. It just looks like a drill. It does look just like a I drill. Mean, compared to that monster, which we used to do <laughs> the wood drilling. True. Exactly. So that's a hammer drill. This is a hammer drill, yes. So what's the difference? Um, as it spins, it also punches. Oh. And it is designed for drilling through masonry. Okay. So in this case, concrete. Correct. Which is what you're about to do. Yes, this is a, a tap con fit. And then we're going to use this to anchor the sill plate. Which is that floor, thing over which there. Which is the pressure treated lumber that's on the floor, yes. That, that right there. Yes. Beep, beep, beep. Any wood that comes in contact with earth or concrete must be pressure treated. Oh. That's why we had to make that out of a different material than the non pressure treated lumber that the rest of the wall made of. Okay, so really what we've learned is that Steve is very excited about wall building. Mm, excuse me. When you phrase it like that, I just think of all the negative connotations of wall building. 
No, but you get excited about building like functional. I'm excited for what's going to be mounted on this wall, like the electrical panel and the plumbing supports. Like ah, okay. I could care less about the wall, to be honest. Okay. The wall provides a, a foundation on which I can build things that do are exciting. Mm -hmm. so. Like finish the basement. Right. And also rewire the entire house to not be a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. So I wanted to say hi guys because I don't know how long I'm going to last. I need to go take a shower because I'm gross. And um, that's, that's my that's my shtick and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, I have to go to work tomorrow. And I work hard when I go to work. <laughs> I can never show you because I'm not allowed to bring a camera in. So, sorry guys. Oh yeah, seriously. Oh, oh excuse me. Steve is going to all together. We're going to see how loud this is. He said it was going to be quick, so hopefully it is quick because it's after 8. Mm -hmm. like, the last time we did this, where I used that drill, which despite its large appearance, is not a hammer drill. So the force of the hammer is me in that case. This mm -hmm. one does it for me. Okay. So, Do your thing, boo. So it doesn't look like much, but it's actually quite nice. That's what she said? Uh,
All right, sill plate for these two sections is all in place and fastened to the floor. It's nice and secure, not going anywhere. So that'll give us a nice foundation to build our wall on. One thing I did find earlier is in here when I was vacuuming. Uh, we talked about not removing these wood panels, but they're like crumbling to dust. So like these whole chunks here had fallen away whenever I was vacuuming. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually pull these out here tonight and that way we can just make sure there's nothing behind them that we don't wanna like bury in a wall. So as it turns out, there's actually nothing behind here. Uh, I had seen in the commentary someone suggesting it could have been like an opening for a coal chute. No, it's just a wall. Um, so it may actually have been what I originally thought, which was a place where an electrical panel was mounted. Uh, but either way, the wood was in really terrible shape. I don't know if you can see the damage or not, but it appears at one time, based on these little tiny holes, it looks like this was either termite or ants or some other kind of insect damage, uh, which would explain why it was crumbling into dust. I've actually run the shop back since, so it got most of the actual powder up, but like, yeah, you can see this wood is in pretty bad shape. So I'm really okay with not burying that in our walls. So yeah, we got all that out of there. Uh, so I think tomorrow we are actually gonna start putting up studs and then we'll hang electrical panels. So that's exciting. Thank you for being great in editing. Um, but it looks like you have a small, um, uh, there's, there's some, some stuff in your hair, Steve. All things that came out of the ceiling in the basement. Okay. Well, congratulations. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll take another shower. Good night, Internet. I'm going to bed. I don't know if Steve's going to do anything else with you tonight, but I am done. I shouldn't even be up right now. I, I just hope that I can get to bed earlier than I did last night. What time did you go to bed last night? Three o'clock. The render, well, the render failed once, and then I had to restart How it. How did it fail? What happened? It, somehow during the assembly, it gave me like some kind of weird import error code. Oh. So it was about like 60% done, and then it failed. That sucks. And then I had to restart it. That sucks. So yeah, it, it took a long time. <laughs> If you wanted to, you could always save this file and then go on my machine and then start the render on my machine. <sighs> I'm just glad that he's doing the edits for me right now because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. I'm so excited to not be working full-time anymore, let me tell you. This part-time upgrade is going to be great.